All right, so let me watch these highlights again and see where Nate Robinson went wrong, man. Hey, cuz, what up? Kevin, what's good, fam? Hey, I'm chilling, man. What you watching? Oh, man. I'm looking at these Jake Paul and Nate Robinson highlights. I can't believe he got knocked out, man. Yeah, I saw that, cuz. And you already know the internet is going in on him. Yeah, they are. But, yo, you got to give him credit for at least stepping in the ring, right? Yeah, that's true. But anyways, cuz, check this out. You remember a few weeks ago whenever I came over here and you showed me how to play Guitar Hero in the Mega Cave? You remember that? Yeah, I remember. Why, well, what's up? Okay, so whenever I was getting the guitar out of the closet, I seen a folder in a box that had like the Manhattan Project on it. What is that? Okay, so it's just a new super updated 16 terabyte hard drive with updated emulators, patches, fixes, new games added with custom themes, bezels, you have Steam for online gaming, and so much more, cuz. Wow. So this is like the Mega Cade on steroids, right? Yeah, pretty much. That's crazy. I mean, it's already a beast. This right here is just taking it to the next level, man. It is. So is there like a Manhattan Project team or something? Oh, most definitely. Okay, so check this out. You got my man Chris Carson. He's like the Nick Fury of this joint. He's the project lead. Then you have Adam Bauer, who's the lead tech. All right, you have my man Elias Rosario, who's on video themes and games. You also have Leo Anchetta, who's also on video themes. Then you got my man Daniel Wolf, who's the communications lead and public support. And then you got my man JC Hill, who's like a techno parrot guru. He's on techno parrot and tech issues. Then you have Aaron Bridgewater. Who? Scantron 5K? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's on promotions and beta testing. And then you have myself, who's also on promotions and beta testing. And we're all beta testing this thing, so whenever the customer gets it in their hands, it'll be running A-OK. -okay. Oh, speaking of drives, I almost forgot. This came for you. This gonna sit it right here. It's your drive, man. How do you even know that's my drive? I just know. Yeah, right. All right, cuz, have fun with the drive. I'm Ghost. See you later. All right, cuz, be safe. Let's see what this drive is all about. What is going on everybody? I'm D Thomas from NC, back with another video. And today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and installation on a one terabyte SSD and a 16 terabyte juggernaut behemoth. Putting that into the HQ Megacade. Now these new drives are for the Manhattan Project. I know a lot of members in the EHA community have been wanting to know my thoughts on this early beta testing with the Manhattan Project. So we're about to get into that. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me for a while, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss whenever I upload videos. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this unboxing. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open this up. For some reason, I don't know where I put my box cutter, so I'm gonna be using my handy dandy fish fillet knife. So let's go ahead and open this on up, like so. I don't know where I put that knife at, man. No idea, all right. Put that down the middle like so. There we go, all right. Throw this knife to the side. Throw that to the side, who needs that? And here it is, guys. All right, so we'll start off small and then we'll go big. So right here, I have my one terabyte SSD, all right, by Samsung. So let's go ahead and open that up. All right, so got some papers. File that to the side. Solid state drive paperwork. File that to the side as well. And here it is, guys. The one terabyte SSD. And yeah, that says D Thomas on it, uh-huh. All right, so we got the stock solid state drive. Let's go ahead and sit that right here. Matter of fact, let's put it right there. All right, now let's go ahead and, dang, I need a knife again. I gotta cut the tape off. Go ahead and get into the big kahuna. That's 16 terabyte. Whew. 
That's mammoth, bro. That's a lot of storage. All right, so on the inside, we got some papers. You know, we filed those to the, I ain't flick it hard enough. You gotta file those to the side, put this box to the side. All right, let's get to the, let's get to what really matters. All right, so 16, hold on, I was supposed to be able to take this off. Uh, hold up one second. All right, so 16 terabyte. Let me see if I can get this out. There we go. Come on out of there. Throw the case into the side. And guys, here it is. We can pull this off too. We don't need these. We don't need the blue. Sh Shouts out to the little blue shoes. We don't need the blue shoes no more. And there it is, guys. 16 terabytes. We finna throw this this MP drive right inside of the Mega case. So there it is. You got the 16 terabyte joint right here. And also you have the one terabyte SSD. So let's go ahead and put these inside of the Mega case. Okay, so there is my 10 terabyte hard drive as well as my one terabyte SSD from my June update. Let's go ahead and remove those, shall we? Okay, so here is my one terabyte SSD. And as you can see, I got the other one mounted on the bottom. Shouts out to Scantron because he put me onto this right here. So you see, I mounted both SSDs. So I'm just gonna have it plugged in into the one on top. So let's go ahead and mount that in. Okay, just like the SSD, I got the 16 terabyte hard drive right here. And I got my older 10 terabyte hard drive up under it. Got it mounted in like a bunk bed status. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this back in. Got it all plugged in and that's it. Okay, so I have the Mega K powered on. If you have the eight terabyte or the 10 terabyte hard drive, Every time you boot up your machine, you'll get a randomly selected video that will play. If you recall in my review video, I had a wrestling video that played. Well, with the Manhattan Project, they have come up with a nice intro video whenever you power on your machine, and it's really dope. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out right now. You see the intro video is loaded, and you got some cool music. Got this guy powering on all these machines, all of these consoles. Last one he powered on was that PS4. And yo, this is a dope video. I like the transition, how Mario got the mushroom, then it went to the SNES, then he got passed by Sonic. That's dope. Sonic going through traffic, and there's that Techno Parrot. What y'all know about that Techno Parrot? Boy, you don't know nothing about that. Music comes in. And you got a whole lot of games right there. I love this intro. It's like a work of art. <laughs> wow. Remember that boy Shane Song? Y'all know the Diego Perry. Y'all know nothing about that. Real Street Fighter fans know about that Diego Perry. All of the consoles right there. Look at that boy Sub Zero Blanca. Ken, Mega Man, Mario, Lara Croft, Scorpion, and Ryu. Or some people like to say you. Little Dragon Ball Z action. Captain America doing his thing. But with this intro right here, I love it. I mean, if you're a fan of having those random videos play, then okay, but this right here. <laughs> That Manhattan Project, well, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills just looking at it, man. Because I know these guys put a lot of work into this and it's so dope. So right here we are on the arcade. This right here is new. A lot of, a lot of these videos and the themes and artwork that is on this drive now is so crazy. Um, it used to be something different with the arcade classics, but now you have this. And I like this look with all the different TVs. It's so dope. All right. so. One of the first things that I want to jump into, let's see, I want to show you guys, you've seen the intro video, 
So I want to show you something that's really cool. And that is going to be with the hyper search. Hyper search now has been upgraded and it is so fire. Now with my eight and 10 terabyte hard drive, which I will show on screen right now, whenever I would go to the hyper search, it would literally take up, the keyboard would take up the entire screen. And whenever I had my eight terabyte hard drive, it worked okay. But when I got my 10 terabyte hard drive, it didn't work. You know, you see the, you saw how the keyboard was taking up the screen. But with the hyper search now, it has been upgraded and it works so good. So now you can use the trackball and the buttons to choose whatever you want to choose, or you can go out and get yourself a wireless keyboard and use it like that. Now, some people don't care to use a wireless keyboard because they say it takes away from the arcade experience. Me, I don't really mind because I'm just typing in some text. So let's just say, for instance, we want to look for a game. I'll use a trackball, for instance. We'll type in Mario, right? So you can do it like that, that didn't take that long. Or if you wanted to use a keyboard, you can just type in and be done. All right, so whenever you wanna search for a game, you click okay, and it's gonna go and find every Mario game in here. All right, arranged from Atari, SNES, wherever you want Mario, they have it, right? And another cool thing what I like about HyperSearch is Whatever you hover over, that's where you hear the sound from the game from. So if I hover over the Commodore 64, I hear this, I hear the gameplay from a Commodore 64. If I go to Atari, I hear that. If I go to Dr. Mario, I hear the gameplay from Dr. Mario. And you can just click on the arrows right here and go look at more games. If you want to search for something else, you can just go back to quick search. It'll pop back up and you can type in another game. So let's say if we wanted to look for... Uh, let's see if I want to look for some, let's go with Mortal Kombat. Oops. Oops. Let's say if I wanted to look for some Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Press enter. It's going to find every Mortal Kombat arcade in here. And the same like I just told you, whenever you hover over it, you hear the gameplay from whatever, whichever one you're hovering over. Liu Kang getting his butt whooped right there. All right, he even got the Mortal Kombat in the future pinball machine. Mortal Kombat 1 right there. Scorpion getting that work. And it shows you the category which each uh, game is in. So that's, to me, that's so that's such a game changer because there's so many games on here and you come here and you're searching for a particular game, you can just come to this quick search and guys, it just works. Another cool thing you can do, so say for instance this Mortal Kombat 2. If I click on it, I can add it to my favorites and I can play it. It also tells you the name of the game, the year, the manufacturer, and the genre. That is so next level when it comes to this search. All right, so we don't want to play it, so we're just going to back out of that. So I just wanted to show you guys how this quick search feature works. Whatever game you want to find, whatever game you want to look for, you can come to this quick search find your game and you can go by name, editor, system, genre, gear, whatever. Whatever you want to do, you can do it like that and I think that's just like next level. I think it's pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's pretty much revolutionary when it comes to that. So that's another cool addition that has been added to uh, the Manhattan Project. Moving right along, oh, I don't want to shut down, what am I doing? Moving right along guys, tutorials. Tutorials. I know you know who those guys are. That looks a little bit like me. That is me, by the way. <laughs> so tutorials. You got my man Scantron 5K, and you got myself. We have our own section on here. So if you want to come here, you click on that, and you can check out any of the videos that we posted when it comes to like how tos and troubleshooting, whatever you want to do. I know a lot of you guys watch myself and Scan on YouTube, but if you want to come here and get a quick fix on how to troubleshoot anything on your machine, you can just come here, click on the video, Back to the channel, and there's scan right there, and uh, you can just watch the tutorial videos, and you can pause it, just pause it on scan like that and admire the tattoos he has, you know what I mean, but it's pretty dope, so you got access to the tutorials uh, right here right here in the uh on the main wheel so yeah that's pretty cool that's a new addition that i like 
Got my man, me and my man scan right there. And bro, what happened to Lou Kane's head, bro? <laughs> I like that shirt. <laughs> All right, so the next big thing I want to show you guys, other than this beautiful tutorial wheel, I want to show you guys something that is so game changing that is really like taking this this whole Manhattan project and this mega K to the next level. All right. So guys, the next thing I want to check out. What's the start of the beginning? Sting. The addition of adding steam. Okay, so let's go ahead and boot that up. Leaving him stranded on a rock. All right. So, steam, come here. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can sign up for an account, and whatever you know games you have in your steam library, you can play it right here on the Mega Cave. That's your boy D Thomas from NC right here. But first, before we hop into this, check. Hold on, let me log in first. Let me log in. Let me log in, my information. And you can use the trackball as well, you know, to put your password in, but you know, I'm using the keyboard. So you guys uh, cover your eyes while I type my password in. <laughs> All right, so let me put my password in really quick. All right. And of course you gotta be connected to the internet for your Steam account to work. I am connected. I do have my Mega K online and here we are. I'm online, D Thomas from NC. Okay, so first and foremost, you can use the trackball or you can use the wireless uh, keyboard. So let me just use that. That'll probably be quicker to navigate. Okay, so let's go to library. All right, and let's go to all the games I have installed in my library. Oh, not, let me go to games. Okay, here are all the games that I have, right? So let's just say, for instance, Bright Memory. I want to play that I click on that but first let me show you something on my PC real quick okay so now I'm on my PC I'm into my Steam library right here here are all the games that I have can't wait to play some cyberpunk so let's go ahead and boot up bright memory this right here is a real dope game had a lot of fun with it and if you haven't played it before I definitely recommend checking it out but anyways uh, this PC, if you haven't seen my unboxing video on my gaming PC, this thing has a 2080 Ti in it. So definitely a lot stronger graphics card than what I have in the Mega K. So let's go ahead and start this up. I want to show you guys something. <clears throat> so let's go to the options. And with the graphics on here, I have it turned all the way up. Like 3840 by 2160. But whenever I get ready to play this on the Mega K, I'm going to have to first bring it down to 1920 by 1080. So let's back out. I want to show you guys where I'm at. Uh, oops, wrong thing. Back, back out of that, back out of that. And let's go to continue. Let's continue the game. I'm going to play this with the controller because the way I got the camera set up, I can't rock out on the mouse or keyboard. So I do have that cyberpunk controller right here okay so hopping into the gameplay going through the game a second time oh shoot reload no scope got him so this looks beautiful this is where I'm at remember I, remember I shot these three guys right here okay so we're gonna do we're gonna pause the game we're gonna exit back out to uh, the title screen and we're going to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and then we're going to head back over to the Mega K. So let's go to the options, let's go to the graphics and let's bring that thing down a little bit. 1920 by 1080, alright and it still looks okay but not as good as it does cranked all the way up. So alright so there it is. All right, so remember where I left off? I shot those three guys in that lobby area and I brought the settings back down. So now we're going to go back to the Mega Cade and you guys are gonna see the goodness. Okay, so you just saw Bright Memory gameplay on the PC, right? So if you wanna play it on the Mega Cade, let's see, let's go up here, click on play and go to Bright Memory. Now I will be playing this with my wireless Xbox 360 controller. Can you play this with the joystick and buttons? I'm afraid you can't. Aww. I've tried 
and nothing happens. But the fact that you can play this game with your wireless controller, the game from Steam is dope. So let's go ahead, press start, and let's go down to options. So I'm gonna show you guys. Just like I showed you on my PC when I changed it to 1920 by 1080, there it is. Everything is synced from the cloud. And let's go back. And let's go to continue. Now, whenever I was playing on the PC, you know those three guys that I laid out in the lobby? They still should be there because that's where I'm going to start my gameplay from. Now, granted, that's the beginning of the game, but it still automatically takes you from your last save point. So right here, here's those same guys. Oh, shoot. I'm getting shot. Back up, bitch. Slice them up. Get out of here, boy. So. So I gotta hurry up and stop the teleporter. But this is so dope that you're able to play games from your Steam account right here on the Mega King. Let's open this door real quick. So. Other stuff I want to show you guys too. Oh, you got blown up. Let me use this gun real quick and then um, I'm going to show you guys some more stuff. And you can see for yourself the gameplay is smooth. Tag off, play. Back up. Oh, my aim, my aim. Shoot me to be killed. Oh, I missed. Oh, my aim is so trash. Back up. Headshot. Oh, right in the stomach. I said headshot. <laughs> All right, so that's bright memory. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to exit and we're going to return to the desktop. And I think this is so cool. Like if you want to play, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z or any game you online, you can do that. All right. So let's go to the store and say, for instance, uh, popular new releases. So if you want to get Red Dead online, you can click on that. Yes, I was born in 1946. <laughs> Just put any date in there. So if you want to buy Red Dead online and play it on your Mega Cave, well, you can do it. Me to remind you of why you have your freedom. You can play this right here, right now. Speaking of downloading, let me show you something real quick before I forget. So the only game I have downloaded to play is Bright Memory. So say if I wanted to play this right here, this Streets of Kamurachu. I, I just butchered that name. Kamurachu, yeah. So say if I wanted to play this game, all I have to do is install it. I'll do it right now. Yes, I agree. And the game is installing right now. It's a small game. So while that game is downloaded, well, I was gonna say while that game is downloading, I can go show you guys some other stuff. But you see how fast it just downloaded and it's ready to play, just like that. <laughs> I was gonna go to some something else in the store, but the game is already on that fast. And it all depends on how big your game is, but the fact that you can download any game that you have in your Steam account and play it, that's game changing, bruh. I don't care what nobody say, that's game changing. Okay, so let's 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 bust a couple of heads real quick and then I'll move on. Skip all of that. One player. We don't want to play with the keyboard. We're gonna play with the controller. Let's go. Let's play with this guy in the suit right here. He looks really cool. And this right here is just a beat him up. Beat him up. What's up, white? Who wants that work? Knee to the face. Just walking down the street randomly, fighting random dudes for whatever. You know that money, boy. This dude got on a nice car. He's a nice, that's a nice sweater. Him hey, and his twin brother. <laughs> All right, so you see this game. Works pretty good. So let's pause this. Let's back out. And guys, that is pretty much Steam in a nutshell. Um, you go to the store, and whether you're on your PC or your tablet or whatever, whatever games you have in your Steam account, you can play. If you want to play Cyberpunk on here, you can. Just come here, whatever game you want to play, you click on it, and you buy it. And it's just that simple. Fair warning. 39 bucks. 
This is gonna be easy. So that's steam for you guys. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? I know. Can't be helped. Let's back out of this. Let's back out. Do we want when you're done? You just click on log out of user. And just like And you're done, just like that. Let's move on. One thing real quick that I almost forgot. It's it's so much that's going through my mind right now that I want to show you guys. But one thing I want to show you guys is this right here is the main wheel. This is the main wheel, okay? So one thing that the Manhattan Project team has done is they've cleaned up the main wheel. On the eight terabyte and the 10 terabyte drive, a lot of people would say that that main wheel was very cluttered. And what they meant by that was there were a lot of different types of games that were not categorized but I think it was a total of like, I don't know the actual number. It was like 200 and something different items on this main wheel. And I think it's been like slimmed down to like 80 or 90 or something like that. I'm not too sure I have to get those exact numbers, but they've cleaned this wheel up and put everything in its own perspective wheel. Like they had a whole bunch of golf games up here. They had like Tiger Woods, like right here. This right here has golf games. On my 10 terabyte drive, it just had a whole lot of different games spread throughout the wheel, right? But if you come here and you click on golf games, every golf game on here is in this category right here. So you got your golden tees, all your golden tee golf games. You got your infinite mini golf. You got your Mario golf. You got your Tiger Woods. All your golf games are in this category. So everything is in a particular place and it's categorized instead of just being all over the place as a spaghetti wheel, as some would call it. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that because that was a pain for some. For me, it didn't really matter, but after seeing this drive compared to what I used to have, I'm like, oh, okay, it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot better. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Let's dive into Techno Parry, shall we? Now, there are a lot of games in Techno Parry, and the way they have this set up, you can play these games on here with the joystick and buttons, or you can use uh, the wireless controller. Got my controller right here. So one of the games, oh shoot, turn it down a little bit. One of the games I wanna show you guys is Dead or Alive 5. Dead or Alive 5, dope game. Techno Parent is gonna boot up, all right? And once that game is booted, we'll jump right in to the gameplay. So I'm definitely loving this Manhattan Project Drive because I do feel like this is definitely a game changer when it comes to having this machine. It's almost like you got a whole brand new machine with this new drive in here. So okay, we got uh, Dead or Alive 5. Uh, I have my... You heard what she said? I have my controls mapped to the joystick and buttons. All right, let's uh, this dude look like he can fight. Let's play with him. And two players can play this as well, you know. So let me go ahead and whoop on this dude for a little bit. Let's get it. Let's get it. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Get ready, fight. Let's go, Shorty. Don't be holding your stomach. Get up! <laughs> Got the police right there, they don't even want to help you. He ain't gonna help you. Come here. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Mule kicking her in the face. Now nah, I really don't want to beat up on this girl like this. Oh shoot. Let me get the controller back. Back up. You gonna hit me? What you gonna do, huh? That ain't gonna work, huh? Come here, girl. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what you gonna say now, huh? Oh, he just got blowed up. Golly. Sorry, Sean. I don't wanna do this to you. Oh, shoot. Right in the face. Ah. Just like that, I'm a winner, man. Anybody want to see me in this game right here? You want to see me in this? You already know the deal. You already know the deal. So that's Dead or Alive. Oh, snap. 
I just whooped up on your cousin. Let me fight this chick real quick. We live on TV. But you ain't gonna do me like Nate Robinson. Nah, I ain't going out like that. I don't know why they got me fighting these girls, bro. Ooh. Wow. Didn't take long to whoop up on her, bro. Why you wanna beat up on a girl like that, D. Thomas? Why you wanna beat up on her like that? Bro, you see what this girl is capable of? Y'all know what she can do. Oh, shoot. See what I mean? Back up, girl. All right, so. Get up, get up. Let me go ahead and knock her out and we'll move on to another game, guys. All right, she's done. Cheese Swiss cheese. I won again. So let's back up out of that. I'm gonna show you guys something that uh, that we're also, I gotta show you guys this right here. I have to. So there are a lot of different games in here. You got, I know you remember Let's Go Island. I've showed you guys that gameplay before. You have the Luigi's Mansion Arcade. There's so many different uh, games that are in this Techno Parrot wheel. But what I wanted to show you is, when I say that we're like beta testing stuff and things we gotta work on, uh, check this out. So we got this Mario Arcade GPDX, right? Now, I have this game mapped to work with my wireless controller, all right? Mario Kart Arcade. Let's go ahead and start. Now, right here in the character selection uh, menu, everything seems to be working just fine. And the game looks good and it plays great. But one thing that I found to be about this game, whenever you actually play it, it seems like the game is on fast forward, all right? So I have brought this up to uh, our tech guy. He knows exactly what's wrong with it. And uh, he's on the job, he's fixing it, all right? Minor uh, issue with why it is, but I noticed it and I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. This is why we are beta testing this drive to make sure these things are will be working great whenever you get your hands on it. So, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alright. I think I'm standing too close. Let me back up. Let me turn up a little bit. Alright. So, I'm playing with Mario. Can you see how the game feels like just like a little bit on fast forward? See what I mean? So the game looks beautiful. It sounds great. But this little fast forward thing seems like it might be throwing it off just a little bit. Nevertheless, still fun to play. I'm breezing around this track with the quickness. And I'm pretty sure you guys should be able to see what I'm talking about. See how the game feels like it's on fast forward a little bit? Got the way, boy. He gonna rob me in my first place. Okay, so. Man, standing this close playing this game because it's full screen is crazy. But, uh, you see what I'm talking about. So, uh, that issue has been identified and it's being corrected. All right? I unlocked a new track but I wanted to share that with you guys, all right? There are a total of 56 games in here, if I'm not mistaken, 56 games in Techno Paris. So yeah, I will be back with a future video to show you guys some more gameplay of these Techno Paris games. The one that I'm really looking forward to uh, working, not working, but getting right with my, with my light guns is this Transforming Human Alliance. I still gotta get my controls right with that. But that's why we that's why we beta tested. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and hop into this Dave and Buster's wheel. A lot of games up in here. Alright. So let me just go to some new added games really quick. So right off the gate, we got the NBA 2K 1920, and we also have NBA 2K21. Game just came out, what, a couple of months ago or so? And we got it right here. 
I'm gonna show you some gameplay of that. I just wanna get a couple of buckets, try to score real quick. Kevin, thanks very much. Skip all of this. He's looking to bring his guys with him. <laughs> thanks, David. Let's now, go. The starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's get to the tip off, man. This is the four with Lopez, the five. All right. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthew. Let's go. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. And for the Lakers. One to jump ball. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. JaVale McGee is out there with Davis. Oh, and here it. Give it to LeBron. Clear it out. Come give me this screen, man. Get this screen real quick. Watch out. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Oh, bad pass. Bad pass. Oh, corner three. Got to make that. My fault. That was a bad pass, yo. Man, I got four bucks on me, dog. Golly, they got that double defense on LeBron. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's all I wanted to do. Just wanted to bang on them real quick. All right, so here is Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Go ahead and start this on up. Been a while since I played this game, so I know I am super Conquer. rusty. Fight. Let's go to fight. Something local. No need to look for that, because, yeah, I still wish to continue. And this right here... It's, it's the full roster. You got uh, the Terminator right there, RoboCop. I used to be good with Jackie, Jackie Briggs. <laughs> Let me play with her and see what I can do. Uh, I want to go up against RoboCop. Uh, medium difficulty. I might be able to get that dub. Let's try it out and see. Uh, and of course, guys, of course, playing with the. This fight right here. Dragon the Dragon Dodo. <laughs> I said Dragon Dodo. Hopefully Robocop don't give me the business too bad. It's been a while since I played, man. Please stand where you are. What did Kronika do to you? She idolized me, but I'm all right now. We better make sure, Murphy. <laughs> You know him on a personal level. Okay. Oh, it gave me the boot. I'm so rusty, dog. Golly. That little cheese move I used to do for combos. Can't get it out like I want to. Oh my gosh, my rib cage. Oh my gosh. Oh. 50 cal up close, bruh. Don't do me like that. Woo. Damn, I can't. Bruh, I'm trying to get it back. See how rusty I am right now, right? That's just against the PC uh, CPU. Dang it! I forgot how to do the fatality. Yeah, I got some practicing to do. <laughs> I can't remember the fatality though, bro. Oh! Hit with the fatal. I had to do it too. <laughs> he almost got me, yo. Oh my god. Let me see if I can remember. Ah! I don't remember. But yeah. Alright, so Power Rangers, Battle for the Grid, press any button, 
You don't need to check for no DLC. Nobody wants to play Resort on. We'll go to Arcade. And we'll rock out with the Green Ranger. And let's go against the Yellow Ranger. And the Blue Ranger. Let's go. I just put it on Arcade. I think they're on my team. I thought I was fighting these guys. Hold up. Okay, we're all on the same team. Time for time for it. King Ranger ain't about those games, boy. Right in front of Zordon. Come on, man. There we go. Little three piece combo. Calling the Yellow Ranger for some support. I don't know who that is, bro. I haven't watched Power Rangers in so long. But definitely a game worth checking out. She's on her knee. Oh, let me go ahead and knock out this Yellow Ranger. Yellow Ranger against Yellow Ranger. I'm the real McCoy, bro. I'm the real McCoy. All you gotta do is blast the dog. Blocking everything too. Uh oh. She's done. Get out of here, coach. This is this, this over. He ain't gonna do it. He got his ultra ability, but is he gonna use it though? Got the Green Ranger back. Remember the Green Ranger used to uh, use that? Da, 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 da. All right, let's go ahead and end this dude. Oh, shoot. I thought he was going to do something, bruh. He's the last one left, so he ain't trying to get beat down. Game over, dog. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Ball game. That's Power Rangers. All right, guys. So here's Hades. We're going to click on play. Get an empty slot real quick. And just want to show you a little gameplay. Uh, can we skip this? Inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. Yeah. I, however, mean to tell you such a You can't skip this, man. Listen carefully. Okay, here we go. So if you've never played this game before, it is really nice, man. All right, so I'm running around right now, of course, using the controller, all right? What's the hell with this place? Fight up on some demons, on some bad guys. You know the deal. Let me pass through, dog. All right. I'm leaving. Try to stop me. Oh, shoot. All right, so that's Hades. Getting chased by a lot of big monsters. Oh, shoot. I'm losing all my health, dog. I just want oh, some more people I got to fight. Where they at? Oh, they down here hiding. So this is Hades. All right. Just want to show some quick gameplay, man. That's enough whooping up on y'all, bro. All right, that's it. Some other cool additions that was added was Ridge Racer Unbounded. That has been added. Also, you have the Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Nice game, all right? Also, you have Samurai Showdown. You get on here and slice some people up. So you also have uh, Halo Spartan Assault. That has been added, that's a new title. Um, let's see, what else we got? Oh, Hot Shot Racing. That's another newly added title, as well as Hotline Miami. All right, so the PlayStation 3. Now, if you remember, I did a video on this a while ago. There were only like six or seven games in there. Now it has like 15, 14, 15 games. So new games that have been added. You have the Mortal Kombat, BC Online, NBA Jam. You have Rezzo Gun, 
Uh, Scott Pilgrim was already on there. Street Fighter X Tekken, that's new. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. We got Turtles in Time, we shelled. Uh, I think we had Afterburner already. Fast and Furious is new, as well as this Ferrari game right here, the F355 Challenge, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So, what I would do, let's check out this Ninja Turtles, man. All right, so TMNT, made by Ubisoft, playing this with the wireless controller. And you Turn that down a little bit. All right. So basically, this is just a remake of the original Turtles in Time that was back on the SNES. Let's go to story mode. Keep it on normal. And we're going to rock out with my guy, Raphael. Make sure I got this turned up a little bit. Okay. So I remember this came back out. I got it on Xbox Live Arcade, I think, but still a dope game. I would love to see a remake in 2020 of this. Oh shoot, well these foot soldiers let me have it, bruh. Now how do I think this stacks up versus the one that came out back on the SNES and the arcade back in the day? I mean it's a nice little graphical upgrade, but nothing beats that classic. I mean, the music, the way it looked and everything. This one doesn't look bad. Threw them in the screen, get out of there, boy. It just seems like the one that was that came back out back in the day was just, I don't know, just so classic, bro. And sometimes it's hard to replicate a classic. But nevertheless, I still like this game, though. Come on that pizza. All right. We're running through these foot soldiers, bruh. Solo. God, oh, hit me with the ninja star. All right, so. Come here, dog. Come here. So that's TMNT for you. Pause the game. You know what I mean? Leader boards and trophies, but we're not online. So we don't have to worry about that. I don't know if they have this game on Steam or not, but... If they do, download this game on Steam and play online with your friends. Oh, they're about to beat Raph up, like in the first movie. All right, so that is going to be Turtles in Time. Let's check out NBA Jam. Let's do this jump ball, let's go. Dirk, ah. So you got Dirk and Jason Kidd out here. No good. Let's go. Already dunking on him. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, I showed you this game before whenever I was playing on my Xbox One. But now, this right here is, oh, an air ball. This is built right into the Mega Cave. Oh, oh, net. Oh, spin move. Oh, block. Get that back, get that back. Oh, dirt to be some fire. Let me pull this three real quick. Let's go. Let's go. And those kicks that LeBron got on, I've been wanting a pair of those. But I don't want to pay no $500. I don't want to pay five. Oh, shoot. I don't want to pay. Oh, nice finger roll. So, yeah, here's NBA Jam on Fire Edition. PlayStation 3. And that's nothing but net. Let me get one more dunk and I'm gonna wrap this one up. Let me hold that, you kid. And this will be a long two. Misses from oh. the outside. And the ball is They're getting those cheesy shots, bruh. Spin move. Here's King James. Pass out of the shot. Pump fake. LeBron. So <laughs> dunked on that boy. Alright, so yeah guys. That's NBA Jam on Fire Edition. One of the newly added games to the PlayStation 3. Alright? Take it off. All right, so another thing I want to show you guys is the artwork that has been added to every single, mostly every single game on here. So when it comes to like Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Saturn, PlayStation, I gotta show you guys artwork. So if you recall the SNES video that I did, I played a lot of different games on there, right? So one of the games 
that I played, well, mostly all of the games that I played, the borders that were on the side all had Super Nintendo. It didn't matter which game it was, it all had Super Nintendo. But that's not the case with the Manhattan Project Drive because every game you play will have its dedicated artwork on the side. I just booted up this Jungle Book game. You see it has dedicated artwork, all right? Whatever game you check out, whatever game you want to play, it has its own artwork. The Lagoon, whatever this game is, never heard of it, never played it. You see it has its own dedicated artwork. Any game you want to check out in the Super Nintendo, The Legend of Zelda, Zink to the Plaid, Zink to the Pad, A Link to the Past. I said a Zink to the Pad, <laughs> a Zink to the Past. So you got The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, it has its own dedicated artwork as well. And that's one thing that I'm really loving about this drive, that it's fine. Every game has its own artwork. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the Sega Genesis. Same thing applies for that. This is Mega Drive, Mega Drive, Sega Genesis. Let's boot Sega up. Mr. Nuts. I got that game on Super Nintendo. But if you boot this game up, you see that it will also have its own dedicated artwork. I'm loving that, bro. It's about time. Not that anything was wrong with just the regular standard borders of having Sega Genesis on once on both sides or SNES, but to see that these games now have their own standard dedicated artwork is pretty cool. I like that, all right? So, I just wanted to let that be known. Also, same thing applies to Dreamcast. You come to Dreamcast, Want to play some Power Stone 2? If you remember, the Dreamcast had the text with Dreamcast on both sides. But now, it doesn't matter what game, whatever game you play, it has its own dedicated artwork. And it's not just console games. It goes for main games as well. They all have their own dedicated artwork. So as you can see right here, Power Stone 2, boom, has its own dedicated artwork. And you know we can get it in with this on the wireless controller. All right, so there's Dreamcast, it applies to PlayStation, all of these uh, other games, let's back out of this. You've seen the Power Stone, all right? And uh, I mentioned main games as well. So let's come down, go to Arcade, we'll play Arcade, all right? And uh, let's just pick a random games. We'll go to Tech Mobile. We'll pick Tech Mobile, for instance. You boot that up, Man, that's a mean spiral right there. Got the cheerleaders in the back, all right? This game boots up, and you will see that it has its own artwork on the side. That's dope. So I had to mention that, all right? So let's move on. Back out of that. And let's move on. I want to show you guys some Wii U, all right? Wii U. Nintendo Wii U system. <laughs> So there are a lot of Wii U games on here, all right? This is not a full set. I think it's about 40 something games, 40 plus games, but they look great, all right? So you have Zelda Breath of the Wild, that's on here, all right? Uh, Transformers, Yoshi's Woolly World. Let me show you guys that real quick. Let's check out Yoshi's Woolly World. I'm gonna be playing this with the wireless controller. All right, make sure I got the volume turned up. Baby, some butthead was down there dancing. <laughs> oh man. You can play with any of the controllers shown. I don't see this up there, bro. <laughs> I don't see this up there. All right, I have this game too. All right, so let's boot up right here. All right, it's a cute, cuddly game, bro. You can't get mad playing this, bro. Pretty colors, yarn everywhere, nice little dinosaurs. I mean, it's just so cute and cuddly. All right. Yoshi. Yoshi. <laughs> we got Yoshi right here. Yeah, boy. See how cute and cuddly this is? All Yoshi do is eat yarn. 
Then poop it back out, bro. Come here, boy. So cute and cuddly, guys. Oh, let me eat this right here. Oops. Isn't this so? Isn't this so bubbly and cuddly? Oh, let me kill this guy real quick. Die. But this game is actually a great platform, though. Very well thought out. Killing these guys with yarn, bro. Alright. Oh, shoot. Got him. Oops, oh, oh. Listen to the soundtrack, guys. You can't be mad at that, bro. <laughs> Not at all. Alright, so. That's Yoshi's Woolly World. Give me some more yarn real quick. There we go. So you see how good this game plays, how smooth it is? Oh shoot. I need another yarn. Oh, let me get this one last one, guys. Last one. Jump, jump. Oh, you know what? That's what I was looking for right there. So there's Yoshi's Woolly World. Let me show you another game on Wii U real quick. Another newly additional or new added game. All right, so next up we got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Definitely a fun game. I have this on the Wii U and I bought it again on Switch because like Yoshi's Woolly World, it's a cute, it's a cute and cuddly game. And it has a lot of puzzles in it too, so I already found all the puzzles on this one. But this game is fun, man. Alright, we'll hold that. Oh, how did I miss? There we go. So there's like three diamonds you have to collect every uh every time, every level, or every map that you play. You have to collect some diamonds. Got the boy. Toe going ham with the hammer, dog. Oh, with the pink folk. So once you find all the little diamonds or whatnot. You find the star. And you're done with the level. But of course I've already already cleared this course before. Alright, so let's go to the next course. Oh, flip the page the wrong way. So you got the wall eye tumble temple. Alright. <laughs> so you just in this world right here. And you see the star over there. And as you play new levels, as the cash catches up, uh, you see the game scene like, oh! You see how it feels like it's lagging now? Because I never played this level before, right? But in the top left corner, it shows the cash. And once, the more you play the game, the less lag in everything that you will have, all right? So I wanted to let that be known with this game. That's how it is on all of these, uh, all of these Wii U games. But once you play the level a couple of times, it runs A-OK. -okay. I just got killed. Well, I got strength. All right, so there's uh, Toad's Adventure. I just want to show you guys that. Let's move on. Okay, so showing you guys another cool addition to this drive. 
has been none other. Also, we got Nintendo 3DS, which I'll show you that in a second. But I want to show you this too. Xbox. That's right. Xbox. Got a whole lot of Xbox games up in here. All right. I know this is not a full set. We got Far Cry. I know this isn't a full set, but got Halo 2 up in there. All right. But the fact that we got Xbox on here is a great addition. And thus far, I've been able to play most of these games that I have tried and tested out. Outlaw Tennis. Never heard of it, but I'm gonna check that out. But most of these games that I do play on here are done with the joysticks, the joysticks, the joystick and buttons, all right? Great demonstration with that. Let's go to my guys, yo. I got this game on GameCube. I got part, I think it was, I got part one and part two. <laughs> Woo, that was loud. Came out in the early 2000s. Two, three, all right, let's go ahead and skip all of that. Yeah! Yeah! So, let's go to the story. And since I'm here dolo, I'm gonna play by myself. So let's go with Mikey, yo. Mikey's in his house. In the what, bruh? He said he's in the his house, bruh. I never played with Mikey, and never, never my wife and I played this. I think she always played with Donatello, so I never knew he said that. Stage one select, okay. We're going to pop off in the sewer. So, of course, you got your little cutscene. Remember, That's Manhattan, right? Ninja, Manhattan on the Manhattan Project? Shadows. Oh, I get it. Darkness <laughs> gives the ninja power. What light reveals the ninja's presence. So, you get this little cutscene. Splinter right here. Can you extinguish this flame? Let's skip all that, bro. Let's skip all that talk. Splinter. Get down to the game play. Let's skip through all the talking. I'm ready to fight. So I'm going around with Mikey. Don't fight against these little robot dogs right here. And if you haven't noticed, guys, I'm a real big Turtles fan, man. All right. So, playing Xbox games with the joystick and buttons, not bad. I mean, a lot of people prefer to play their games like that anyways, versus using a uh, wireless controller. Oh, am I supposed to go this way, bro? I can't remember this. No, I gotta go down and make a right. But yeah. Yeah, boy. I just wanted to show you guys TMNT. What the is that, rice? So that's TMNT on Mega K via the Xbox. Let's go back to the title, back out, and there it is. All right? A lot of more titles in here. And guys, trust me, I will be back with more gameplay to show you guys more of these titles. I don't know how long this video is. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is. I feel like I've been in here for like two hours already. And I don't want the video to be that long, but I know you guys want to see a lot more of these games in action, all right? Oh, uh, let's see. I said I was gonna show you guys 3DS. Let me show you that. But yeah, here is the Nintendo 3DS. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a full set. A full set of 3DS games. All right? So, let me go to whatever you want to play, Mike. It's in here. We got the Mega Man Legacy Collection, Metroid, uh, Mighty Gunvolt. Let me check that out. Let's boot that up. And you also know with the 3DS, you know you played on two different screens 
So, the, you know, this right here, it doesn't take up the entire screen. Okay, get that out the way. So this will be like the main screen you play on, and then you got the other little screen down there. But you got all this real estate out here that's just black borders. So I'm not sure if if there's going to be any uh, borders that they put on this in the future. But uh, let's go with Gunvolt. But yeah, this is all the this is all the screen real estate you get. I don't know how this will look stretched out, but uh, yeah. I think I have this game on 3DS. I have to check. All right. Okay, so we jump, shoot the gun. Okay, jump shoot, got it. Got the grapes, got the apple. All right. I have no idea what this game is about. But at least the guy is eating clean until I see the candy drop. Then another apple, then another piece of candy. Boy say he gotta get his sugar in, man. Oh, shoot. So if you wanna come in here and play some, th oh shoot. If you wanna play some 3DS, here you go, bro. Oh, you can double jump. That heart. All right. Oh, I missed the key. Oh, I can't get back up there. Oh well. Gotta leave without that. Yeah, can I get up there? Can you squat down? Can you roll? Let me see if I can. So I guess I can't roll. I don't know. I'm good to get up. Get that. Oh! Bruh! Get the diamond. Dang, he rewind quick, quick. So, yeah. This 3DS, guys. Alright, let me back out of this game. Game over, thank you for playing. Nintendo, Nintendo. Paper Mario, Pit Zombies. And not all of these can see. Okay, Private Zone. Pull your, pull your Tetris. Oh, Raymond. That's a fun game. So, yeah, you got a lot of dope games on here that you can play. If I'm not mistaken, this is a force. Oh, this is my Ninja Turtles again. TMNT. The Adventures of Tintin. What? So, yeah, guys. That is the 3DS. So many games in here. And yo, shouts out to uh Daniel Wolf. This dude has or had a full set of Turbo Graphics 16 games. Like real life. I never known anybody to have that. But yeah, guys, there is there is so much more that I want to show you. But let me know what else you would like to see and how are you feeling thus far about this Manhattan Project Drive. Oh, and real quick before I forget, so check this out. Let's just say I hop into some Sega Saturn and I'm playing Slam and Jam 96, right? So you got Slam and Jam 96, the game is gonna boot up, all right? So, of course, just like all the other console games I showed you, Sega Saturn game also have artwork, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the Hot Water Shorts on. So say if I'm playing this, right, and I back out. Okay, and let's back out of here. And you see that I'm on Sega Saturn. So let's just say I'm done gaming for the night. It was on Sega Saturn. I power off the Mega K. I go to bed, I go to sleep, do what I gotta do. Wake up the next day and I wanna play some more Mega K. So what I'm gonna do right now is power the Mega K back on. And what I wanna show you guys is whichever category you were on whenever you powered off the machine whenever you power it back on it's going to go right back to that wheel 
So you guys just saw that I was on Sega Saturn. I turned it off and now I'm powering it back on. And you will see that whenever it goes through the initial boot process and shows the intro video, it's going to go back right to Sega Saturn. And I think that is pretty cool. All right, so you see it's booting back up, showing Extreme Home Arcades. That's a nice game room. I love that rug down there, by the way. Got a little drinky drink right there. So it's gonna boot up. It's gonna show this screen right here. All right, loading the intro video, the awesome video that I showed you guys earlier. It's gonna go through that, but we're not gonna sit here and watch the whole thing. We're gonna skip past that. And once you skip back, and it's right back on Sega Saturn. That's something else that I almost forgot to tell you guys about. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more things that I wanted to tell you that I can't remember right now, but that one is a cool thing that I didn't want to go unnoticed. All right, All right guys, so there you have it. The new 16 terabyte behemoth inside of the HQ Mega K, along with that new Manhattan project that's in the beta testing phase. Now, I know a lot of you guys are super excited to get your hands on this drive, and I will be the same way, but you gotta be patient. I know you want to get your hands on it like right now because after seeing everything I just showed, I would feel just like you. But you got to be patient because we're doing everything we can around the clock to make sure that this drive is working properly. So whenever you get it in your hands, you won't have any issues at all. That's the whole point of this Manhattan Project. No issues at all. That's a big order to fill. But trust me, we got some guys that are definitely on the job trying to make this happen. And I'm super excited about this, especially when it comes to the Steam, being able to play those games on the Mega K, that is so dope. And look at the Hyper Search, you know, that Hyper Search feature is like game changing to me. And you know what? I'm thinking about the Steam right now. I pre-ordered Cyberpunk 2077 on PC. So I'll be able to play that on the Mega K. That's so dope. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed everything you saw about this Manhattan Project while it's in the beta testing phase, show this video some love, give it a thumbs up, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.